What is it as far as the, the climate in Nigeria for, like, business? Is it tough to do business, or is it, like, heavy government regulation, kind of who you know? It depends on what you want to do. Um, now, somewhere like Nigeria, it's very easy to come some, somewhere like where y'all you guys are coming from and come here and think of an idea, a food truck, this, that. A lot of things in America that they don't, they don't have here. Mm -hmm. So you come here and you're like, yo, they don't have a top golf. Mm. <laughs> they don't have a this, they don't have a that, they don't have a this, they don't have a that. That's cool. You get the money to do that, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is what it breaks down to. You do everything, you bring everything, now you got to start settling this one, paying this one. They don't want to move forward. Yeah. So obviously, you have to know somebody. Any big thing, you always hear that, oh, this person is involved. Like any, like if, like if, like if the W Hotel comes, it can never be, I don't want to mention anybody's names, but it can never be, oh, W Hotel bought land and just came and built in Nigeria. You always hear one politician is involved, or one governor, his daughter. So it's always, you obviously have to know people when you want to establish something big like that, or involve them, you yeah. know? So even from a business standpoint, now, I mean, obviously you're one of the Like big. for example, like my dad does um, power plants. That's, I was going there, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so he does power plants, he generates energy. Um, and my dad is a, He's all about the private se sector. Mm -hmm. But for a guy like my dad to have to involve the government in your business, for your government to succeed, tells you a lot. Yeah. Like, I'm sure if my dad didn't have to deal with the government at all with his business, I'm sure he would go 100% that route. But these days, you have to.